Hello, and welcome to HAPCO's instructional video, Surface Casting for Molds. The Surface Cast Mold has a high-quality HAPCO urethane surface and a filler material to back it up with. Here are the basic steps for creating a Surface Cast Mold. The spacer layer. Mixing and pouring the backup. Heating and venting. Releasing the pattern. And finally, casting the surface. The first step is the spacer layer. Here's a list of materials that you are going to need. Quarter inch foam padding, X-Acto knife, double sided tape, masking tape, and a polypropylene trash bag. We are going to apply a layer of quarter inch foam to create a uniform quarter inch thickness around the pattern. Cut the foam along the shape of the frame to start. Trace the contour of the pattern with a knife or use a pencil and then cut the foam to size. Use double sided tape to hold the foam to the pattern. Use masking tape to hold the sections or pieces of the foam together. Place several pieces of double-sided tape onto the foam so that the trash bag will adhere to it. Place a trash bag over the foam to prevent the casting from sticking to the foam. Then, Cut the trash bag to the size of the frame. Next, attach the frame. Now we are ready for the next step, mixing and pouring the backup. Here's a list of the materials that you're going to need. Hapco's fillets, Hapres 3742 with 62, a can opener, a metal spatula, and dishwashing gloves. Here we have Hapco's fillets. Fillets are a low cost, lightweight, machinable backfill material. Using a can opener, cut the rims off both the A side and B side cans. Pour the B side can into the A side can. Begin mixing. Mix well, scraping the sides and bottom of the can. Once the hat press is mixed, pour it into a mixing container large enough to accommodate the fillets. Put on dishwashing gloves to protect your hands and arms. Gradually add the fillets to the resin. Mix until all of the fillets are wet. Pack the fillets into the mold and level off. After the fillets are cured, demold and remove the trash bag and the foam layer. The fillet surface is a smooth, shiny surface. We are going to rough this surface up using sandpaper or a Dremel. The next step is gating and venting. Here's a list of the materials you are going to need. 
one quarter inch barbed couplings, one quarter inch PVC tubing, and a quarter inch drill bit. All mold designs are unique. It is important to carefully plan the gating and venting locations. In liquid molding, you have to be careful where you put your vents because of the lack of pressure as compared to injection molding. You want to create a pressure drop or decrease inside the mold. The general rule of thumb is to have double the square inches going out of the mold as coming into the mold. Insert the materials you're going to use for the gating and venting. Here we've used quarter inch coupling along with PVC. The next step is releasing the pattern. Here's a list of the materials you are going to need. Hapco's Grease It Wax L, Hapco's Grease It 4 spray, a two inch throwaway brush, and paper towels. Brush on two to four coats of Hapco's Grease It Wax L. Buff the wax between each coat. Next, we are going to apply Hapco's Grease It 4. Spray in a thin, continuous film. Try not to spray in thick coats and allow to dry in between each coat. Now, we have to secure the pattern to the frame. The last step is casting the surface. Here's a list of materials you're going to need. Hapflex 668, Hapco's Mini Fill Dispenser, 832 Static Mixer, Vice Grips, and Nozzle Grease. We are going to use Hapco's Mini Fill to dispense the Hapflex 668 into the mold. Screw on a disposable mixing nozzle. Dispense about a nozzle and a half of the Hapflex into a disposable container. Next, place the nozzle in the in tube and dispense until you can see the material coming out of the vents. Throw away the used nozzle and attach a retainer nut. Insert the grease gun into the retainer nut and apply lubricant. After four hours, we are now ready to demold the pattern. Remove the screws holding the pattern to the frame. Insert jacking bolts and jack the pattern off of the mold. Here, we have our finished mold, a Hapflex 668 surface with a fillet backup.